Hello guys, Ivan here and this is the all new 2023 Mercedes GLC AMG line. So in this video we will check out the exterior, interior and also the infotainment system. So here we are at the premiere of the GLC in Slovakia and thanks for having me at the show. So this is the second generation of the Mercedes-Benz GLC. The first one was really successful. So this is very important model for the Mercedes-Benz brand, definitely. And that's why we have here the all new second generation of the GLC. And here in AMG line, the sport package. So let me know how do you like this design. I think it looks much, much sporty than the classic version. So I would definitely go for the AMG line for sure. But on this channel, I will show you also non-AMG in the future. And we will check that as well. So the car looks much sharper than the previous generation, much more angular, but still very elegant. And yeah, I think it retains very, very beautiful shapes, but still add something new, something a little bit more sharp in similar fashion, like the new C-Class bring to the new generation. This is the mid-size SUV. So we have also many upgrades in terms of the technology safety and also on the interior, completely new interior. Some things are similar to the C-Class because it was like this always, that the GLC, that's why it's called the C in the end. And here we can take a look at the profile. So the GLC has some similarities with the C-Class for sure. We will check those and some differences in the video. So the GLC comes as a hybrid in terms of the powertrain. So you can pick from the mild hybrid or plug-in hybrid. So mild hybrid have 40 volt system and the base model is GLC 200 with 2.0 liter petrol engine, 204 horsepower and 23 horsepower from the mild hybrid. Acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour in 7.8 seconds. Then we have also diesel engines, 2.0 liters as well. And then we have also plug-in hybrids, GLC 300E and GLC 400E, where you can go 130 km per one charge. So that's about 80 miles. All right, so now we will take a look at the front of the car, which is really, really sharp here in AMG line. You can see the AMG bumper here on the sides. We have also air curtains. So the air goes around the front bumper in the lower part for the better airflow and aerodynamics. Here we have the digital light. This is all new technology for the GLC with new daylight running stripe and two smaller stripes as a signature and also some blue elements in the lights. This can also project symbols on the road and cut out ongoing traffic. The best lights with 1.3 million micro mirrors in each headlight from Mercedes-Benz and the new grille which has a Mercedes stars all over it really really cool looking so let me know how to like that and the line around the grill is always in high gloss black even though we don't have a nice package here that part is in high gloss black there's also some something new for the glc before you need to have a um, uh, night package to have a uh, high gloss black parts but now this is changed and you have some of the high gloss black even without the night package also on the lower part of the front bumper on the sides which we will check out shortly so very, very cool looking GLC. I really, really like this new generation, much more than the previous one, which was already really great, uh, definitely in facelift. My favorite was the facelift in the first generation. By the way, the hood is a little bit opened because we needed that to charge the car. So let me know how to like this front design of the GLC. And the color here is actually Mojave Silver which has this like a gold tint to it. Very nice, like a goldish and silver-ish color. So here are the wheels. These are like an aerodynamic on the sides, you can see, and then three stripes on each spoke. These are Continental Eco Contact 6. You can also get the sport tires for the GLC if you order that. And also take a look here at the wheel arches. These are standard in a matte black, but you can get them painted with different packages. Here is AMG engraved also in the wheels. So these are AMG line wheels. I would suggest if you like that, 
to have a painted with arches for sure. It looks a little bit more luxurious, but with the black ones it looks more like an off-road style. 255, 45, R20, so these are 20 inch wheels. Also we have perforated brake discs with Mercedes-Benz logo on the brake calipers and you can also get the air suspension for the GLC. Let me know if you would get the air suspension on the, or the standard one. So really really nice. Here we have a spec sheet for the GLC 200 formatic. In the US probably the base version will be 300 formatic. All versions are formatic so all versions are all-wheel drive. And we have MG Line Premium Plus package on this car. And you have many packages actually, so check the configurator if it's already live in your country. Here the window trim is in chrome, you can get this in high gloss black if you have the night package as an option. And Burmester speaker here in the doors, we can see this from the outside. So really, really great design for the GLC. Also new side skirts, the new design for the GLC of the side skirts. And the line from the side, the car looks well, even bigger and it is bigger in dimensions so really really fantastic design for the new GLC if you open the fuel cap you can see the recommended fuel which is 98 octane for the petrol and recommended pressure for the tires and here is a close-up for the color so this one is the Mojave silver which is like a goldish tint with the silver together you have also many colors like a spectral blue or the very popular hyacinth red metallic, which is called the cardinal red in the US, 285, 40, 20 inch at the rear tires, so wider at the rear for a better traction. And this is primarily rear wheel drive vehicle. So here, as you can see, all new design for the rear of the GLC. We have new tail lamps, just about everything is new. And it has a little bit of the coupe design, so very, very sleek and aerodynamic and also very sharp. Um, at the same time, which is really unique. Also at the rear bumper you can see these grooves on the sides, really really great sporty design and AMG line adds the sporty touch to this vehicle for sure. On the right side we can find the formatic above the tail lamp which has new design, full LED tail lamps and they have really nice grooves, really really nice shapes and they are two section. And on the left side we can see GLC 200 and in between the tail lamps you can see the black bar in high gloss black that's also new for the GLC let me know how to like this detail and the exhaust tips around the trim in chrome this can be blacked out with the night package all right so now it's time to take a look at the boot space so here for the GLC we have 620 liters really huge boot space that's 21.9 cubic feet you can also lower the rear part of the vehicle thanks to the airmatic and also fold the rear seats here with a button and also they are 40 20 40 split so you can fold for example only the middle seat and transport skis golf bags things like that longer objects so really great in terms of the practicality underneath the boot floor you can find additional space but you can also get the spare tire here so I would definitely order one with the spare tire or you can I think you can get it afterwards as well if it's not in your order or not in the stock vehicle which you are buying so really really fantastic practicality for the GLC I think it's a really great family car for this kind of size of a vehicle you have really huge boot space where you can fit many many stuff so what's not to like also here you have a tow hook which can be deployed here from the lower part and obviously the tailgate you can close this with the button fully electric so let me know how to like the practicality of the GLC now it's time to check out the interior which is completely new in terms of the previous generation you already seen this in the new C-Class so it's very similar but it has some differences so overall you can see where you are sitting higher up as in every SUV and the whole dash is more higher up because you are in an SUV, so it has a little bit different feeling than in the C-Class, also in terms of the positioning and in terms of the overall dimensions. As it's always the case, the GLC is similar to the C-Class, but it has some differences, so we will check the interior now. So let's hop inside and take a look at the interior. This is the AMG line interior with AMG Super Sport steering wheel. So here you can see ambient lighting. I set it in... A the most brightness 
color, which is the blue, which you can see in daylight. But we will check uh, also another options in terms of the colors. So here in the middle, you can see the storage space behind the armrest, the USB-C ports. And this little box that's new for the GLC, you cannot find this in the C-Class. We have also two adjustable cup holders, two USB-C ports and wireless charging for your phone. So this one is central screen, which is more tilted towards the driver, 6 degrees. And you have off-road here for the GLC. You can see the pressures, what is doing each wheel. You can see direction, now west, and all kinds of angles. Really, really great in terms of the off-road. So you can get to your cottage or any kind of uh, weekend resort. If it's not even like paved, you can get there. Obviously not hardcore driving, but mild off-road, I think it can go. No big deal. And also the driver screen is now new. And also the air vents. The steering wheel is fully electric. And new capacitive buttons for the steering wheel. And also as soon as possible, I will drive the GLC and let you know my thoughts in the full driving video. Burmester here has a speaker in the doors, 3D Burmester sound system, and also this beautiful wood decor on the dashboard. Let me know how to like that one. You can also get different trims in terms of the design, and also a large panoramic sunroof, really makes the interior much, much brighter. Here we have the Artico and microfiber seats for the AMG line, and also this panel for the roof in the headliner. A really, really amazing in terms of the infotainment, the latest MUX generation. So here are some different ambient color. These are multicolor options. So Miami, rose, and these kind of colors. So these colors look really, really cool in my opinion. So really, what's not to like? If it's like overcast or is not full sunny, these, these lights will make your day much more brighter and much more positive. I was driving other cars, we don't have this kind of ambient lights and if you are used to this, you will not want to have another interior, definitely. So here is the AMG line in terms of the floor mats and also pedals. This is only for the AMG line as well. And also you can see here the toggle for the lights. So here is overall look at the front part of the vehicle. We will also check the rear seats. So here is a new headrest and this microcut microfiber-like material very smooth is not hot in summer not cold in winter as much obviously we have a heated seats and article man-made leather you can also adjust bolsters so really really great so now we can take a look at the rear seats and you can see very very gorgeous we have also ambient lighting in the doors door packets which are large and burmester speakers in the doors also heated seats for the rear passengers privacy windows here for the privacy glass tinted in the back and the whole GLC of the rear is very spacious so shortly we'll hop inside and take a look at all kinds of details for the rear section of the GLC behind myself I set the front seat as I would drive we can close the door and check out how much space do I have here is some storage space in the front seat I have quite a lot of space I would say you can check it out uh, in terms of the knee room I have about 10 centimeters, about 4 inches, give or take. In the middle you can find 4 zone AC unit with vents and you can set auto or specific where the air should blow. Very very nice display for the rear passengers in the GLC, looks really premium. And also these vents which you can, by turning you can open them or close them or only partially open, so really great in terms of the comfort. So here are the rear seats, very comfortable with middle armrests which can fold out. And this has some either hidden features for a phone or two cup holders which are adjustable. So two people can put their phones there for two phones. You can also store these buckles for the seat belts and isofix for child seat. Kids will have a plenty room here and very safe car. It's much bigger than predecessor, so much safer. Also in terms of the assistance systems, so really great, uh, makes a great family car for sure. You can see here a little bit of the ambient lights in the rear and really unbelievable vibes here for the GLC in the back. Rear passengers should be really, really amazed by sitting here. So really, really fantastic. Now we can check out the headroom. So how much headroom do I have? Quite a lot, like 10 centimeters. And even we have here the 
sunroof so without the sunroof I would have even more space so I have about 7 8 centimeters is like 2.5 even maybe 3 inches so lots of headroom definitely and I'm 186 and a half centimeter 6 feet at 1.5 inch also have light here and grab handle and the doors hook for a jacket so really really spacious in terms of the rear passengers and very practical definitely so let me know how to like this one also here with the blue and green really really cool looking all right guys so that's it for this video let me know how do you like the new 2023 mercedes glc here in the amg line trim in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss any videos and hit the bell and turn on all notifications so you are notified for all future episodes thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day